Hey there, Stephanie Arnold here, Beachbody Coach and founder of the Anchored Nation team, and I wanted to give you a quick rundown of how you can help in our challenge groups. So every month I host a 21-day fitness challenge for accountability, support, motivation, inspiration, recipe ideas, all that fun stuff. I'm just kind of general like hand-holding to help us all um, build the discipline it takes to get our workout in every day and eat clean. So I host those groups every month, and I am always looking for sorry, um, new coaches on our team or existing coaches to help run this group and to kind of step up as a leader. So I, a lot of times I'll reach out to coaches who I see are doing really well on our team that are showing up consistently, that are really inspiring people, and give I want to give you a chance to lead too. I don't want to do this all by myself. I want to give you that opportunity to inspire people too So because I know you have value to give. So. If I have tapped you on the shoulder um, to participate in helping our challenge group, or if I haven't and you want to step up, please don't wait for me. If you want to lead, let's do it. Right? It should be a little bit scary. You should be a little bit intimidated by it, and that's great. It's a healthy thing. Um, it shows that you're ready to learn something new. Right? You're getting out of your comfort zone, which is something that I encourage you to do. So. If you're ready to help, I want to show you how we do that. So every day, if you've participated in one of oops, one of my challenge groups, you've learned that we post a daily post, right? There's a daily check-in that you're supposed to do, and you're supposed to check in that you did your workout and your Shakeology. So um, for the daily posts, uh, a lot of those have I've created myself that I've just kind of built up over time that I really like ones that I've seen people really respond to well. So we'll use them, recycle them a lot of times. But um, I typically do things like a motivational Monday post where they invite somebody to post something motivational, like a motivational quote. Um, on other days, I'll do like a, a tasty Tuesday, share a recipe that really worked for you this week, or. Workout Wednesday, you know, show us your sweaty selfie or Flex Friday, you know, flex those muscles. So we do all sorts of different things like that just to kind of do simple ways to get people engaged, um, to continue to feel that support and um, just community within our group. So with that being said, for, oh, wow, these are super crooked. Um, for each one of our days, every time I do a daily post, there's two things that I make sure that I add. And this is what I want you to do. So if you're going to take over, typically the way I invite coaches to help is to be responsible for one day of the week for all 21 days. So I will assign uh, a certain coach to do um, Monday. So this coach is responsible to do every Monday. They're responsible to post by 7 a.m. our motivational Monday post, right? And so, um, yeah, so we do it that way. And the way that you can, uh, what you want, what I want you to include, I want to give you creative license to share whatever is on your heart. Like, that's my favorite part. I don't want to just cookie cutter and say, hey, copy and paste this. That's not leadership. I want you to be able to put you, your spin and your touch on this. So let's say it's a motivational Monday. Um, yes, you, you've got an easy way to ask people to post a quote below. But share something. The first, there's two things that you want to do in our daily posts. And the first one is to add value. So first, you need to give something to our community, right? You need to share whether it's a tip that's something that's worked for you. You know, if it's a motivational quote, one that's really meant to you and what it's meant to you, where you have it posted in your house and why, um, how you chose that quote or, you know, give... Um, just help people relate to your story. So be personable. It's not so much of a moment to teach. We're not talking at each other, but we're doing this together. So it's kind of a, an opportunity for you to share something that's working for you, whether it's, you know, a new recipe or a meal plan, something to add value to our group. So that's your first assignment when you're when you're posting a daily post is to add that first add value to our to our group. And the second is give a call to action. So ask the, our group members to do something, right? We want them to act on the content. So it can be it, this is completely up to you. You know, you've noticed if you've been in our challenge groups what I typically do, I ask, you know, for a selfie or for a quote or um, to respond in some way to to the post. And so you just want to make sure that we have an opportunity to respond. Because I don't want you to have this awesome moment where you share something really vulnerable with our team um, and then there's no call to action. So I don't want you to look at that and see, oh, wow, nobody responded to that, so I must really suck. Like That's not it at all. So I want you to, to give our team an opportunity or our challengers an opportunity to respond. So the best way to do that is to have a call to action. So ask them to do something. Sometimes I typically I make it really simple and I will like title that part assignment. Um, sometimes I don't. But I will ask a question that requires a response. So um, I've given you lots of the different examples. I can ask, ask somebody to share whatever their recipe was that they did for dinner last night or um, 
what they meal prepped today for Sunday or what new vegetable they're going to add to their diet next week. You know, something like that. Just ask something that requires a response. And that's a lot of times also that is how I judge daily participation to go towards points for prizes to win this challenge and the whole the whole thing. So um, I want to make sure that we give our challengers an opportunity to earn those points. So it's important to make sure you have that that aspect. So that's it. It's as simple as that. There are two things to add for your daily post. Add value first and then give a call to action. So um, we may talk privately. I might give you, if there's something that I've seen you be really good at and I've spotted that in you, I might give you that specific assignment and say, hey, here's your topic and run with this. Or I might give you complete you know, free license, or if you, you know, have a, something that's on your heart that you really want to share, I want you to have that freedom to do it. I want you to take this opportunity to lead because that's the whole point here is to give you this opportunity to step up in front and lead because you're already leading by example. And I want to give you the opportunity to lead, um, through our daily posts as well and take on a leadership point as well. So I hope that this kind of explained how I'm looking for um, leaders to step up on our team and, I want to help you. So if, you, if you're really nervous about a post, please feel free to message it to me first, and I'm happy to go over with you, help you figure out, you know, how the how best thing to word things. Um, oh, I forgot totally. The third thing, you need to have a picture, right? Because a picture grabs everybody's attention. So whether it's a selfie of you or something related to your post, put a photo of some kind on your post because that, that always catches the news feed um, when you're scrolling. It catches your eye, and that will help people to read it. So call it action call to action. Wow, I'm doing this out of order. Add value, call to action, and then make sure there's a photo. Okay, I hope this is really helpful for you guys, and that's all I've got for you. Oh, no, no, label it. Make sure you label it, because if you're showing up, especially as a brand new coach, and you haven't shown up as a leader yet, make sure that you label the post, whatever the day number is. Um, you'll see on all my posts, on my daily posts, I try to do that. If you're doing it, um, I'm sorry, this video got longer than I wanted it to be. Wow, this is a really long video. Okay, I'm sorry. I just have to get this out. So, um, you added value, you posted a photo, you uh, labeled it. So label it like day number, whatever. And um, if you're doing this in the Facebook group, because we have two different ways that we do challenge groups. Sometimes we do them in the Facebook group, and sometimes we use the app. If you're using the app, there's a great feature. I will make sure that you are an admin in the group, so you have admin responsibilities, and then you can schedule your post. So you can do it the night before, and or three days before, or at the beginning of the month, do all three of your posts for that month. You can schedule them at the beginning of the month, and then um, just put the dates and times on there, and it'll post them for you, so you don't even have to worry about it. Um, in the Facebook group, you do have to post them live um, at the time. Um, and we typically try to do them before 9 a.m. Um, if you'll notice, sometimes I slack off and I completely forget and I don't get them done in time, but I try to get them done in the morning so everybody has a chance to check in throughout the day, whatever time that they're going to be available to check in. So that's all I've got for you, I promise. And I'm really proud of you for stepping up. So um, pat yourself on the back. You're doing great. And I hope this gives you a chance to um, just feel better about what you're giving back to our community because you're a rock star already as a that's why I tapped you on the shoulder that's why I wanted you to do this with me and I'm really excited to see you lead so please reach out to me ask me questions let me help you um, and we'll flush this out and make it happen all right girlfriend